Boy, you ain't shit. Boy, you yeah, ain't boy. shit. Time to drop the line. You know it. Go pack your shit. I am not on the market, Miss B. I already told you I am taking some much needed me time. Nonsense. The nice, sweet young man such as yourself. Now you're gonna name yourself a lady before it gets too late. And I am telling you, I am ready for another grandbaby. You know, Danielle has my family genes, so you know she's gonna have nice hair. Yeah, I know that's right. And she tans so well. Y'all are gonna make some beautiful brown babies. <laughs> Now I have two options here. I can tell this dear sweet child of God that I am gayer than a hell and give her a heart attack right here in this chair and I cannot have an old white lady dying in my chair. Once is enough. <laughs> or I can tell her that meeting Danielle seems like a great idea and then she will tell me when and where and we'll go on a date. Friday night, Olive Garden. <laughs> Now, as soon as we see each other, we both know. And so we laugh, and we order some pasta and some wine, and we get to know each other. And she tells me all about the guys that her mother has tried to set her up with who were not yet out and proud. And this happens quite a bit. <laughs> now, let's see, she's been on a date with the nail technician, <laughs> the pool cleaner, and the Fitness instructor, who by the way, Beatrice, I know very well. <laughs> he may or may not have given me a hand job in French class in high school. <laughs> and the kicker is, Danielle is not even single. Uh-uh. She has not told her family about Amy, who she met in Asheville two years ago. But how can you be out when your grandfather, who you love dearly, is a Southern Baptist preacher, one who is very well respected in Dogwood? Can you imagine the stress that would cause? <sighs> After a few glasses of rosé, she gets very emotional. And she tells me how she has made up her mind that she will not come out until after her grandparents have died. Which I do not agree with. But I understand. And as we continue our date in the parking lot for another hour, she cries. And I let her. And then I cry. And she lets me. And then we agree to keep seeing each other. Because when you're queer, you're family. Right, Miss B? Yes, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? Oh, Till the next time. Just spinning round and round